how's everybody doing so i got to lambertville uh a little late today i went to uh an estate sale i didn't film it but we spent 140 dollars over at the at an estate sale got a lot of jewelry i think i'll go through that at the end of this video they were calling for uh 30 degrees snow showers and uh a little wind today so i knew there wasn't going to be a lot of people at the flea market i figured stopping at the estate sale first was a better move but we'll see what we find hopefully there's something good to pick at the flea market going on? Pretty good. I'll get the little vase, I think. Kind of like the eight ball golf ball. on these two. Cool. You know what? A buck or two bucks. You've got it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if there's anything over on this side. Man. Uh... I mean, I, I was thinking more, but I, I wanted to be here. Did you guys get the snow showers in the morning? Very, very mild. Nothing really. It's just too storm. Just yeah, we had a couple of flurries. Well, I owe you two bucks. What do you get on the the brass? You know, we got the rest of it too. It's actually pretty cool. You think it might be something that would like on a boat or something maybe it swings? Might be. I don't. I, I don't think so. It's well made. Is new. Oh, that's kind of, I like the shade. Then, oh, that the, goes on there. And then, yeah, the nuts go there, you know. So it's actually really, it really is pretty cool, right? All right, I'm putting this in my pocket. Okay. I mean, I was saying something would be like 20 bucks or something like that, but I don't know if that's too much or too little. That's, it seems fair with that nice shade. Yeah, yeah. The shade's but actually. I, if you're going to do that, I would give you just throw that stuff in too. Whatever else you're buying. Yeah, I'm just going to get that for two bucks. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Th thank you. All right, let's go see what my buddy Jim has. Thank you. I like this ant picture. <laughs> How you doing, Jim? Don't put this on me. Uh, Hitler what? <laughs> Almost looks like it should be gold filled. What do you find in Maine then? Uh, not enough. Actually I found... I did really good with jewelry finding this morning. Hey! You set up? No, I wish I was. Where, over Brown? Uh, no, I went to a state sale. You looking for the same thing? What? Same kind of stuff? Yeah, always. You went to an estate sale today? Yeah. What town? Uh, Hopewell. Really? Yeah. How was it? A lot of, a lot of stuff, but they, uh... Professional? No, it was family ran, so everything's cheap. Is it? Yeah. I, so I not, not your kind of stuff? I, I spent a quick $140. Any records? No. No we're records. Off of Broad Street, we're, we're in Hopewell. Yeah, it's signed. Okay. If you drive through. Your mistresses are taken quite in stride. Mm -hmm. Even sexual perverts and dread are. Is abundant. that like 60s, 70s? 1950. Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go, David. Are you changing that? Yeah, yeah. I'm showing him. This is Japanese occupied China. Oh, the New Hope. <laughs> oh, that's what that is? Yep, this is all Japanese propaganda. Are you 10 bucks, right? I was trying to figure that one out. 
<laughs> Look on the back. Flip it over. How much are your boxes of postcards? Fifty a box. The front box is twenty-five cents a card. Mm -hmm. Second box is fifty cents a card. How much is the buncher again? For you, I'll go forty bucks. Forty bucks. So what what did you buy? I, I bought a lot of jewelry. Oh, okay. They had a lot of jewelry and a lot of Christmas. Any gold? No. no. Oh, did you hear the story? I gotta, I gotta go home that way. So somebody somebody in Warren County is taking Whoa, catalytic con catalytic converters. What do you mean taking? Stealing. Yeah, cutting oh. them out of cars with the. You know, there's a metal in oh, catalytic converters worth 15, 15, 15 times the price of gold. It's 1901, yeah. is it? But from? only certain yeah. catalytic converters. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. sorry about the wind. Well, I'm sure you guys can see how the balloons are moving, and probably hear it on the. But there isn't too much. That part of the market's empty, so we'll see if we find anything over here. That wind is not anybody's friend today. You're right about that. No. What do you get on the pin? Uh, ten. It's nice with the horses. Yeah, very nice that one. It's got a little crack right there, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, not much. You having a good day? France. Yeah, there's a bunch of French and Italian stuff there. Yeah, this one's pretty. Yeah. What do you get on that? 20. I'm sure it's worth it. I don't know what I would do with it though. What do you get on the threaders? Thirty bucks. Polishing shoes, I think. Must be sat in. What do you want on this? I'll get that. What is that for? For when you pick corn. But I've never seen one with the that big uh you know what I mean? Yeah, that's him. It's right-handed, right? Yeah. I, I'm right-handed, but I always film with my left hand. <laughs> oh. Right, that wind is awful. If it wasn't windy, it would be... It even snowed. It did snow a little? Ray, you want coffee or anything before I go? No, I'm good. All right. I can get it just so you warm up if you want. I was, uh, I was inside. Okay. How much is this? One five. I like the way they displayed that. All right. I think we're out of here. I don't know if there's anything... Uh, go show you the, what we picked up at the estate sale.
it's cast iron. Pretty cool. Pod. Have you ever seen one that exagger or that yeah. big? I've never had one that big. Might find something there. He has tons of uh, ephemera. We're good at ephemera. All right. But he also had a showcase tool of pocket knives. And who knows, you might be able to help him out, you know? All right. Thank you, Jim. Have a good day. Stay warm. All right. Out of here. Well, didn't get much at the flea market. It was kind of windy. I did shop it fairly fast. But I really like the corn picker. Um, the number eight golf, or the eight ball golf ball and the little, uh, Japanese vase. Figured I had to show you how well I did at this, uh, estate sale. I spent $140 on this, uh, I don't know, this pile. First thing was this vase. It looks like a number seven. Um... I'm not sure who made it, but it has that nice, good, looks like Ohio type pottery. It's pretty large and I, I don't know. I was, I was happy with that. Got another little rabbit. A few uh, Easter eggs in, uh, I guess they're marble. A good LED uh, alarm clock. I, I've sold these in the past for twenty to thirty bucks. I think this one sells for about twenty. Uh, I think it's just a compact. And then I got all this jewelry. The jewelry, I th I was really happy with the uh, the prices they were given. They weren't charging a lot for uh, for stuff, and there was probably four or five people in there picking. So, I got lucky to be one of the f first in the in the room. This is a Nolan, looks like Nolan Miller, uh, orchid or iris. Maybe that's an iris. This might be another Nolan Miller. Looks pretty close to the same. I know that these tend to do probably. Thirty dollars, maybe more. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that was. This is Bob. Somebody. I can't quite read it. It's a cute little angel, though. Ladies, I got. I don't know. Probably the most pins in one stop in a, in a while. Good little uh, Damascene Rooster. Sarah Coventry. That's a really nice uh, carved Mother of Pearl. I know there was another couple. I think I got one or two other carved Mother of Pearls, I think. But that's a nice flower. This may be silver. Yep, 925 little snowflake. It's a pin pendant. I put all the silver here so I can count it later. It seemed like there was a lot of silver. But for $140, it was definitely a really good buy. I wish I filmed it. I'm sorry that all we get to do is go through it. A few Christmas pins. This one is a reindeer with a little bell. Kramer leaves art like a turtle in a pear tree or a turtle in a pear tree <laughs> a partridge uh, this is another little piece of carved mother of pearl it's a little pendant another little bunny for Easter I think Lindsay will steal that though pretty sure this yep this is silver with a silver chain, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> of course, I can't flip it. Yep, 925. Really like the carriage.
this is a really nice Christmas tree. It's missing two stones, but still three stones. Yeah, needs a little work. Mostly everything though is in pretty good condition. Fun little blue turtle. That was a bunch of, uh, this one's rose quartz, but the rest are like a nice uh, crystal. This is like a pink double-stranded AB crystal. That's triple strand there. This was the double strand. I wonder if this has a name. No, but it was made well. This should have a name, but I don't see one. The other little uh, AB crystal uh, necklace. Another mother of pearl. This one's camel carved. This is a sterling ring. Good little Snoopy pin. This almost looks like it's gold filled. Must just be brass. A little Damascene uh, clover. These donkeys are silver. Not marked, but you can just tell the way that they're uh, tarnished. Nice little that butterfly. Doesn't look like any other. Uh... Well, this was actually kind of cool. It's a copper hand hammered deer. Fun little uh, handmade pin. I like how he applied the little applied the ear. That was a good one. Let's see who made the Roma. I don't know who that is. These are made by Corot. Like the polar bear. With all the little inlay. I don't know. I guess that's about it, but you can see how many uh, pins I picked up. Here's a good gold filled pin. Has some decent weight. Another sterling rose. That's a sterling heart. Yep. This is silver, but it's newer. Uh, here's another mother of pearl. I guess this is a bird. Almost looks like he has three legs. <laughs> oh, I always like these. Uh, carved lucite pin with the lilies. This is a nice pin, I just can't quite read the name. Looks like real stones. Dogwood flowers. Another little sterling pin. I got about an ounce and a half of silver. This one gold filled. Nope. Kind of looked it. That's why I threw it in the pile. This looks look pretty uh, delicate. It's a Lennox. Let's 
ceramic flower. All the birds on the branch are pretty fun. All right, that was about everything we uh, got today. Sorry I uh, didn't film it, but um, well, another silver pin. I hope you thought it was still interesting. I'm glad I got to the flea market today. Um, I figured this was the right move to go here first, especially with that. Whenever it's windy, people don't ever tend to be at the market set up, and it's cold. Windy below 40, it's better to find something else to do. Oh, there's still a silver pin. I knew there was a bunch of silver. So we got three ounces of silver now in here, this little section. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch everybody next video. I'm going to get to Columbus, and I hope I get a chance to do Lambertville tomorrow. If you haven't yet, please give somebody a call who might be alone. Please be safe out there, and thank you again for watching. See you later. Peace. I think these are probably the best of what we got today. But my favorite is this hand-hammered uh, deer. Well, didn't get much at the flea market. It was kind of windy. I did shop it fairly fast, but I really like the corn picker. Um, the number eight golf, or er, the eight ball golf ball and the little uh, Japanese vase. Figured I had to show you how well I did at this uh, estate sale. I spent $140 on this uh, I don't know, this pile. First thing was this vase. It looks like a number seven. Um, I'm not sure who made it, but it has that nice, good, looks like Ohio type pottery. It's pretty large and I, I don't know. I was, I was happy with that. Got another little rabbit. A few uh, Easter eggs in... Uh, I guess they're marble. A good LED uh, alarm clock. I, I've sold these in the past for 20 to 30 bucks. I think this one sells for about 20. Uh, I think it's just a compact. And then I got all this jewelry. The jewelry, I, th I was really happy with. The, uh, the prices they were given. They weren't charging a lot for uh, for stuff, and there was probably four or five people in there picking. So I got lucky to be one of the f first in the in the room. This is a Nolan, looks like Nolan Miller uh, orchid or iris. Maybe that's an iris. This might be another Nolan Miller. Looks pretty close to the same. I know that these tend to do probably $30, maybe more. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that was... This is Bob somebody. I can't quite read it. It's a cute little angel though. ladies I got I don't know probably the most <laughs> pins in one stop in a, in a while good little uh, Damascene Rooster Sarah Coventry that's a really nice uh, carved mother of pearl I know there was another couple I think I got one or two other carved mother of pearls I think but that's a nice flower this may be silver. Yep, 925 little snowflake. It's a pin pendant. I put all the silver here so I can count it later. It seemed like there was a lot of silver. But for $140, it was definitely a really good buy. I wish I filmed it. I'm sorry that all we get to do is go through it. 
few Christmas pins. This one is a reindeer with a little bell. Kramer leaves. Bart, like a turtle in a pear tree. Or a turtle in a pear tree. A <laughs> partridge. Uh, this is another little piece of carved mother of pearl. It's a little pendant. Another little bunny for Easter. I think Lindsay will steal that though. Pretty sure this, yep, this is silver with a silver chain, I'm pretty sure. Of course, I can't flip it. Yep, 925. Really like the carriage. This is a really nice Christmas tree. It's missing two stones, but still three stones. Yeah, it needs a little work. Mostly everything, though, is in pretty good condition. Fun little blue turtle. That was a bunch of, uh, this one's rose quartz, but the rest are like a nice... Uh, crystal. This is like a pink double-stranded AB crystal. That's triple strand there. This was the double strand. I wonder if this has a name. No, but it was made well. This should have a name, but I don't see one. The other little uh, AB crystal uh, necklace. Another mother of pearl. This one's camel carved. And this is a sterling ring. Good little Snoopy pin. This almost looks like it's gold filled. Must just be brass. Little Damascene uh, clover. These donkeys are silver. Not marked, but you can just tell the way that they're uh, tarnished. Nice little that butterfly. Doesn't look like any other. Uh, well, this was actually kind of cool. It's a copper hand hammered deer. Fun little uh, handmade pin. I like how he applied the little applied the ear. That was a good one. Let's see who made the Roma. I don't know who that is. These are made by Corot. Like the polar bear. With all the little inlay. I don't know. I guess that's about it, but you can see how many, uh, pins I picked up. Here's a good gold filled pin. Has some decent weight. Another sterling rose. I believe that's a sterling heart. Yep. This is silver, but it's newer. Uh, here's another mother of pearl. I guess this is a bird. Almost looks like he has three legs. Oh, I always like these. Uh, carved lucite pin. 
with the lilies. This is a nice pin. I just can't quite read the name. Looks like real stones. Dogwood flowers. Another little sterling pin. I got about an ounce and a half of silver. This one gold filled. Nope. Kind of looked it, that's why I threw it in the pile. This looks look pretty uh, delicate. It's a Lennox. Ceramic flower. All the birds on the branch are pretty fun. All right, that was about everything we uh, got today. Sorry I uh, didn't film it, but um, well, another silver pin. I hope you thought it was still interesting. I'm glad I got to the flea market today. Um, I figured this was the right move to go here first, especially with that. Whenever it's windy, people don't ever tend to be at the market set up, and it's cold. Windy below 40. It's better to find something else to do. Another still silver pin. I knew there was a bunch of silver. So we got three ounces of silver now in here. This little section. So. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch everybody next video. I'm going to get to Columbus. And I hope I get a chance to do Lambertville tomorrow. If you haven't yet, please give somebody a call who might be alone. Please be safe out there, and thank you again for watching. See you later. Peace. I think these are probably the best of what we got today. But my favorite is this hand-hammered uh, deer. <laughs>